if you take any alkene, in this case, I'm going to use an example with cyclohexene as my example. If I take any alkene and I add uh, what we call MCPBA, or let me actually, this is terrible, but let me actually rewrite that. If we use MCPBA in acid, we actually get an anti-dihydroxylation reaction, right? So we should get something that looks like this. This is the product of this reaction. Now, MCBPA is actually what we call metachloroperoxybenzoic acid. And the structure is actually, the structure actually looks something like this. Here's a chlorine, and we are we have a peroxy organic acid on the end. So this is a structure, right? Again, any alkene we take and we add MCBPA, we get anti-dihydroxylation plus the enantiomer. So the enantiomer would be just the exact opposite, just changing the chiral centers. All right? Let's do another. Uh, reaction. If I take this molecule and I add MCPBA in acid, this is the product that I would get anti dihydroxylation. And when I say the enantiomer, what I'm simply just doing is just changing the chiral center. So what was going up would be going down and vice versa. So you have to remember uh, to put the opposite. Now remember, um, before I go, is that this is actually a two-step reaction. So the reason why we use MCBPA is actually to form the epoxide, right? So if we're looking at the mechanism real quick, what we're really saying is that we use MCPBA first in the first step. And we actually get an epoxide. This H should not be there. We get the epoxide plus the enantiomer of the epoxide. So now the epoxide will be going up if we were if if we were just uh, strictly speaking about uh, the epoxide. And in the second step. Uh, we could use acids. In this case, I use um, acid, but we could also use a base to open the ring. So in this case, I'm going to use a base to open the ring. And so it, it essentially attacks one of the carbon contained in the epoxide and breaks the electrons on the oxygen. Right. So in this case, we were looking at this as the product of the OH attacking the epoxide carbon. Now remember, I used a base here, but again, an acid or base, you could use an acid or base to open the ring. I just choose to use a base here, but the H3O plus also works as well. Right? And then the last step, we actually use water and it comes and take off a hydrogen. Right? And so we get plus the enantiomer. So that is kind of the brief gist of the reaction with metachloroperoxybenzoic acid.